why I always have to look back at the book to try to make sense of what the hell I'm seeing. So what's going to happen is that the carotid is supplying the brain, and we also have the vertebral. What we absolutely cannot have is the brain ever go without blood. So all of those are going to join together in a circle that has so that if any part of it, maybe you could develop a clot, something starts, the blood flow ceases through one of those, we have backup systems throughout the brain. So there is a circle. It looks squashed and ugly in this model, but it's going to come up through the vertebrals here, come into the basilar, and then you can see there's this circle that the blood could supply any part of the brain through this circle. This part is being supplied by carotids, these by the vertebral. So let's go over the parts of the circle of, of Willis. So we have vertebrals coming in, they join together to form the basilar. This one that's coming off the here is the posterior cerebral artery. It then communicates with the posterior communicating artery up to where the carotids are coming in. These are the internal carotids, these are the middle cerebral. Doesn't quite look like this in real life, but now we would have branching much closer off, we would have anterior cerebral arteries that would come out and supply the front of the brain. They chop them, but all of this is anterior cerebral. So what that leaves is only this little front part of the circle right in here. That is anterior communicating. Okay? So again, these don't come like that, but that's what we have, so that's what we're dealing with. Okay? Everything else we'll do next week.